Back in the second topic, we learned about mixtures and how to separate mixtures. Since air is a mixture, therefore we can separate it using one of the methods that we learned called fractional distillation. For us to be able to do this, we need to carry out a few steps. The first step is that air is taken in through filters that purify the air and remove dust. Next, dust-free air is taken into a chamber with concentrated sodium hydroxide solution which essentially absorbs or removes carbon four oxide gas. Now, since air has many components, we have removed only two parts, dust and carbon four oxide. Can you think of the remaining components of air at this stage? All right, let's go on. Since now carbon four oxide is removed, the remaining mixture is cooled to negative 25 degrees Celsius. Below zero degrees Celsius, water will solidify. So at this temperature, water is removed as ice. The remaining part of air is compressed under 200 atmospheres and then further cooled to negative 200 degrees Celsius. This is done by compressing the air and allowing it to expand repeatedly, essentially reducing the temperature. Then the remaining part of air is taken into a fractionating column. At this point, the fractionating column has fractionating plates, which are called distilling plates that look something like this. These plates increase the surface area for distillation to take place, just like the fractionating column in the one that is used in the laboratory. Now, nitrogen is collected as the first fraction because it has a lower boiling point. And then argon, which is mainly the major component of noble gases, is collected as the second fraction and oxygen is collected as the final fraction.